Hi everyone, in today's session, I will guide you through the model category module in ServiceNow. By the end of the session, you will understand what the model category is, how to create and maintain a model categories. Before I dive in to the demo instance, let's first explain what a model category is. A model category in ServiceNow is a value used to categorize models and asset facilitating effective asset management. Model category help in organizing, reporting, filtering and searching for asset records. Example includes such as computers, servers, monitors, printers. And please note ServiceNow provides 128 model categories out of the box. Now, these categories also allow automatic creation of configuration items during asset creation, ensuring flexibility as not all hardware asset needs a CI and vice versa. Here on the screen, you can see a visual of how a model category connects to a hardware model. Then to a hardware asset and a configuration item. Notice that the two model category point to a single hardware model allowing multiple category for one hardware model. This flexibility lets IT asset managers decide the asset category when creating a record. For instance, the Apple MacBook Pro 14 inch workstation model created in previous sessions can be categorized as either a workstation computer or a server depending on its use. Now that I have explained what model category is, I will proceed to create one in ServiceNow. Now we are in the demo. Please note if you are not logged in with the admin role, you need the model underscore manager role associated with your account to update and create a model category. Today, we will be creating a model category for docking station. So in the application navigator, we will go ahead and type model category and then we will select model category module under the product model application. Now, we will see a list of existing model category records. We will click on new button to load the blank model category form. Now in the first tab, we have the name field. Here we will enter the name of the model category. So I will use docking station. Next we have UNS PSC code. This code stands for United Nations Standard Product and Services Code. It is a global classification system for product and services. It provides a standardized way of categorizing goods and services that organization use for tracking purposes. Each product category within this code is assigned a, new, a unique code, facilitating consistent and clear communication across different sector and countries. Organizations often use this code to streamline procurement process, manage inventory and analyze expenditure pattern. These codes are hierarchical, starting with broad categories and becoming more specific as they progress through different level, allowing for detailed classification of a wide range of product and services. For instance, I will be using 43211601 as this is the, 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 the code for a computer docking station. Now on the top right, we have parent category. This serves as a superior or higher level category in relation to another category often called as child category. When we use a parent category for a new category, you are creating or editing you are essentially organizing it within a hierarchical structure. This helps in organizing information in a logical manner, making it easier for use to navigate through related content. 
For example, let's imagine a website navigation menu. It has a parent category as clothing, child category as men's clothing, women's clothing and children's clothing. Here clothing is the parent category under which various type of clothing are grouped like men's, women's and children. This hierarchical structure allows for easier management and navigation of large amount of data or content, providing a systematic way to organize, it, to organize and present information. For now, I will leave it as uh, this as a blank. Here we can go ahead and add a picture of a model category. I don't want to add any picture. Now, in the next tab, we have CI class field. This field is selecting a category determines the type of configuration item created alongside asset of this model category. If none is selected, no configuration item will be generated for asset like docking station, which aren't classified as configuration at items. So I'm going to set this field to none. Now next comes the product model class. So here we will go ahead and select which model class this docking station falls under. I will go ahead and select as a hardware model. Now comes the asset class. Here in this field, you can specify the category to which this model relates. For instance, since it is a docking station, it is classified as a hardware asset. I will choose hardware. In our previous session on hardware asset, we discussed the co concept of classes. These classes define the group to which assets belong, such as hardware, consumable or software licenses. When I selected the hardware, asset you will notice that all these three checkbox field on the form became editable instead of being read only this changes occur because these checkbox are relevant only to model category associated with an asset class now we will go to the first checkbox labeled as allow pre-allocation this determines whether assets are pre-allocated is permitted for hardware asset associated with this model Pre-allocation in this context means that assets are covered and stored at your organization site, typically in a stock room but are still owned by a vendor. This arrangement enables your organization to adopt a just-in-time procurement approach whereas assets are obtained as needed rather than keeping large quantities in inventory. It streamlines the procurement process and ensure that assets are available when required without requiring immediate ownership transfer. Now, the next checkbox field is allow in bundle. This field let you specify whether components associated with model category can be included in a bundle model. A bundle model is essentially a record that includes multiple child models. For instance, in this example, I will check this field because I want all docking station model to be eligible for inclusion in this bundle. Now the next is allow as main. This field allow you to specify if the hardware model is the main component of the bundle model. The main component is basically like the parent asset or component of a bundle. Let's take an example, a hardware bundle for a new employee starting at an organization. This bundle could contain a laptop, a headphone, a monitor, a docking station. In this example, we want the laptop to be the master component in the bundle as it is the main asset. So I will not check this box. There is another field I would like to highlight which isn't currently visible. That is en enforce. PSI validation field. This field becomes visible only when a PSI product and service item class is selected. As you can see, now the PSI class making the field visible. When this option is enabled, a hardware asset record will not automatically be generated when creating a configuration item using the model category. This feature is beneficial for creating configuration items that aren't physical hardware asset. For example, consider a cluster. 
So I will change it to none. Now to save this changes to the model category, I will go ahead and click on submit button at the top right. Now we will go ahead and we can see our, our, our model category has been created. And here it is. Before concluding, let's quickly navigate to the, you know, a new hardware model form. Where we will see the newly available docking station model category. Here it is as a docking station. That's all for this session on model category. Thank you so much.